walk around family welcome back to another video today we're going to take a look at a 2024 honda pilot elite in modern steel metallic with the new brown interior which started in 23 the elite is the highest trim level you can get you do you will start off with the lx which is the base model the sport the exl the trail sport the touring and this guy fully loaded on the front fascia First thing first is the new design of the Honda Pilot from the previous generation just give you a more menacing look. It's more flatter, it's more square. They kind of went back to the original Pilot um, when it came to the design when the previous one was very curvy. Headlamps is full LED and you can see in there, they're kind of like the jewel style where you have LED high beam, low beam, turn signals, daytime running lights. You even have LED fog lights as well. This portion right here is chrome because depending on what trim level you get, this will be a different color or a different material. You do have an air curtain in the bumper. You have parking sensors up front, a lot of flat black down below, a, a little silver piece to kind of break that up. The modern steel, in, let me just show you the color because this color in the sun is just very beautiful. Look at all of that flake in there. Just a very beautiful color. And going back to the grill, gloss black, you have a huge Honda emblem, H, which house your radar front camera up front which is important because the trail sport and the elite get the full 360 camera but we'll take a look at that in a minute coming around to this top portion of the grill it is chrome right here and just a little sliver depending on what trim level you get that might be blacked out or it'll be chrome looking at the windshield you do have a wider windshield from the previous pilot you do have the updated honda sensing you do have windshield sensing windshield wipers. That's why you have these little bubbles right there. Taking a look at the side profile here, this Pilot does have a little goodies on it, so you can see what certain uh, accessories look like on the Pilot, but you do have 20s on the Elite. If you get a Touring, they're also 20, and if you get a Sport, you also get 20s. If you go with an LX, a EXL, or a Trail Sport, then you get the smaller 18-inch wheels, but the rims is a nice design, not too much in your face and not too boring either. And this has the black lug nuts on it as well. You have some black clouding, not too much on a fender that goes around the whole pilot, which is a nice design, not too overwhelming. And you do have power folding side mirrors. So when you unlock the pilot, they will open. And when you lock the pilot, they will close. You can turn that feature on and off. You do have LED turn signals on the side mirrors and they're body colored up top, flat black down below. So this one has body side molding. So this is how the body side molding will look if you add it to your pilot, if you want to protect your vehicle from door dings and things like that. Cause here in New Mexico, people will open the door in your car and drive off. They're not leaving no, sorry, I hit your car. Here's my insurance thing. They're driving off. So a good investment to help protect your vehicle. The Elite also will give you a gloss black roof rails. And if you want to add a crossbars, you can add crossbars. On top of the window is flat black down below it's chrome and you do have a line that goes from the fender all the way up to the rear and you do have another line down here so it's not too boring and too flat on the side on the gas cab you do have the catalyst fuel filler so when the pilot is unlocked you can open this guy up and let's actually do that so i can show you guys what it looks like inside so technically your cap is right here and throw the top the just throw the nozzle in there you save you about 10 seconds at the gas pump 0 0.10 seconds, but when you lock the pilot, then it'll actually lock the door. Now we can open that guy back up. Taking a look at the rear of the pilot. So up above, you're gonna have your shark fin style antenna that's body colored. Your rear window spoiler is half gloss black and half body colored. LED turn, turn signals, LED brake lights in the rear. And you do have exposed wiper. The Honda emblem is in chrome, spells out pi Pilot boldly in the back on every trim level. You have Elite right here in chrome, lets you know that you don't have the regular Pilot. You got the fully loaded Pilot and all-wheel drive badge on here. That's standard on the Elite. The tail lights are a combination. So the brake lights are LED, but the turn signals and reverse lights, I believe, are traditional bulbs. It's really hard to tell because this, this design they use is actually really nice. And you have your backup camera here. One thing I didn't get to show you guys is on the front camera, there's like a little washer on the front camera because you can wash this big back camera and the front camera. So that's something that's new on the pilot. And coming down below, you do have parking sensors and this pilot is equipped with a hitch. Now, when you add the hitch on there and the wiring, this is how it'll look. 
And if you buy a trail sport, trail sport comes standard with a hitch, but it doesn't come standard with the wiring. You still have to add the wiring. So that was something that was kind of confusing. You would have thought that the wiring comes standard with the trail sports, but no, it's just a hitch and, and that's pretty much it. Now they at least do have these, these fake exhaust tips that a lot of people complained on 23 that they didn't like. So you can see the tips is actually underneath there and they come down and they won't actually connect to this tip here, but it gave it a more sportier look. Not a big deal to me, but I noticed some people did not like it. The Elite will give you smart entry on all four doors. So usually on pilots, you put your hand in the door, driver door handle or the passenger, it unlock for you. Even the mirrors will open for you. But on the Elite, you also have it on the rear door. So I can lock it from back here and unlock it from back here, which is really nice. That usually was like an MDX thing. Now they have it on the pilot, which is cool. And I believe you also have that feature on the Touring. But we're going to open this guy. Oh, actually, before we open this guy up, blind spot monitoring standard on the Elite. And we're going to open this guy up. Now, here's one thing I really love is the brown interior. So to get the brown interior, I believe you only can get white, black, or this gray. And the gray with the brown is just a nice contrast. Now, I have the moonroof closed, so it's going to be dark in here. But look how the brown looks. And I know in pictures, the brown looks a little bit more lighter. It's actually, it, it is a dark brown. But it's not too dark where you can't see it. Like the chocolate is just beautiful. But we're gonna come back here before I start drooling and start on the door. So on the door, you have a splash of the brown. You do have this, it's not textured, but this unique, I guess, uh, design for the Elite. A little silver right here kind of cuts it into it too. You have a slightly soft touch up top. This is soft touch and very soft touch on the armrest. You have auto up down for all windows. So front and rear, power locks power window uh mirrors i will say window power mirrors and if you want to turn if you want to fold in the mirrors yourself you have a button for it as well taking a look down here you have some storage in there you have a bottle holder with more storage and then more storage down below and taking a look at the driver's seat here you can see it's perforated you have this black strip kind of cut up some of the brown even the piping around the seats is black to kind of cut up some of the brown beautiful design nice bolstered will hold you into place and it is power so power forward and back up and down forward and back for the back seats you have lumbar in and out and then you have this portion right here you can tilt up and down on the passenger side you have forward and back and forward and back and that's it so there's no lumbar and the seat does not go up and down let's jump into the elite pilot i know there's a lot of noise going on out there but welcome to your pilot so let me get this thing started. So you put your phone to brake and push the button right there. It'll start up for you. Now only the Elite gets the full digital cluster here. In my opinion, I love how this looks compared to the half digital, half analog cluster because almost every Honda has that now. Uh, the, all the cores have the full digital and it's just a nice cluster to have. On the left side of your steering wheel, you have your, your uh, rear tailgate opener and you have a de-icer zone. So when you turn this feature on, it will heat up the bottom of your windshield to unfreeze your wipers, which is cool. You have your traction control on and off, switch there and just a blank button there. You do have two position memory and that's only on the driver door and each key has driver one or driver two in the back of it. I'm actually trying to reach for it right now. So on the back of the key, you're gonna have driver one or you're gonna have a number two and what it will do is you can save your seat position, your memory, your memory, your uh, side mirrors positions and some of your settings to the key. So once you unlock the pilot with the key, it goes back to how that person had it. And same thing with the second person. Now, if you have the other person's key, you can just push one or two on the door and it'll go back to how you had it as well, too, for your seat uh, memory. To so pop open the hood, you have a latch right down there, and that's pretty much it. And Honda usually have a row of sea of buttons down here on the left side, but now mostly everything is in the screen. The steering wheel is leather wrap, feels good in the hand. You do get a heated steering wheel standard on the Elite. You get this little kind of the door handle material, the same thing. Is it the same thing? Yeah, it's, it's like the same thing on the steering wheel. Gloss black on the rest of the portion of the steering wheel. And you have the little horn button right here that's secluded, which is cool. Not leather, but at least the rim is leather wrapped. And you have your controls, you have your volume, next track, previous track, which controls the right side of the screen. So if you scroll with this wheel right here and look, 
you can quickly switch your different sources. So Bluetooth, USB, satellite radio, AM, FM on this side. And if you use this grow wheel, it'll control this side, which will change up all types of stuff. You have the heads up display, which you guys could probably see it right there. See the little zero right there. And you can view different information. So on the heads up display, you can change it to uh, navigation with the speedometer, or you can add the driver assistance, driver assist with your speedometer. You can have it off or just the speedometer by itself. So I like the compass, but to each his own, you can decide whichever one you want. And I did all of that in this right screen here. So let me click on speedometer and actually go back. So it has up display, gauge display. And one thing a lot of people don't really change is the gauge design. So right now it's on bar. You can change it back to round. Oh, there we go. Where it's round instead of it being um, the, the bar is going up and down. You have your speedometer or tachometer on that side, but I'm gonna put it back to bar. Oh, what am I doing? Hide and show, you can like get rid of uh, different um, options on here if you don't want them to show, but I'll put it back to bar. And then let's go back into the list. You have your average fuel, trip A, trip B, engine speed, time, compass. If you put a destination in, then you can have turn by turn directions on here. But if there's nothing on there, just a compass. Are you awake enough to drive? Um, you all will drive, see how much power you use in between the wheels, who have their seatbelts on, oil life, and then tire pressure, which is cool, and then your safety support. So there's all your safety features. So here you can turn on road departure, blind spot monitoring, low speed brake control, your parking sensors on and off, collision mitigation on and off. A lot of different options you can change. You could have nothing where it shows nothing, adjust the brightness, and back to the heads-up display. So I'm going to leave it on that guy right there. Very configurable, very customizable. You have how many miles you have, what drive mode you're in, your gas gauge on the right side, your temperature is on the left side, outside temperature, what gear you're in, to comment on the left side. I really love the digital uh, uh, gauge. Now, behind the steering wheel, you do have your headlights here. So you have off, auto, parking, and on, and fog lights on and off. And you have auto high beam standard on the right side you have off auto low high for the front wipers so you have rain sensing windshield wipers so if you go down once the auto it'll wipe based on how much moisture is on the windshield on the rear wiper you have off intermediate and on now because you have the front camera you have the cleaner for the front camera up here or the cleaner for the, the rear camera here i learned that if you get a model that doesn't have the front camera It'll still have this picture on the pilot, and if you go to the front one, it'll still clean the back one. It's actually pretty funny. Um, the pilots do have a 10-speed automatic transmission, so you have a downshift there and a upshift there, the plus and minus. And you do have some of your Honda sensing features here and your cruise control feature here. So you can turn on cruise on and off. You can cancel it, resume, set. This is to adjust the adaptive cruise control, so you can adjust the distance from the cars in front of you, and this is lane keep assist. So when you turn this guy on, it'll keep you centered in your lane. Actually a pretty cool feature. And coming along to the middle portion here, you have your nine inch touchscreen display. A lot of people complain on the 23s that this screen is too small. Um, they wish it was a bigger screen. I think it's fine for the pilot, but to each its own. Go back to home. So it's half touchscreen, and you still have physical buttons, and you have a volume knob, and you have tuning there as well. Uh, I have a little protecting screen on there, so I don't know if you guys can see too well. But you have multiple different screens. You have apps. You have navigation built in on the Elite. And everyone uses Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, so you may not even use this. But it's cool that you do have that. So you can see what it looks like. You got break from. See where you've been. You have phone. You have your FM radio tucked away back there. You have Bluetooth audio. You have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, and it's wireless on the Elite. If you get an LX or Sport, you get a smaller 7-inch display. And you have to plug your phone in to, to use Apple CarPlay and your auto. If you want wireless, you have to get EXL and up. Satellite radio is built in because the core doesn't even have satellite radio anymore. So it's cool that Pilot Soup has it. Trip computer. Next page. General settings. You have vehicle settings, which is cool. And see how it says driver 2 up there? You can save your settings to each key, which is cool. But Honda doesn't have a way where you can switch. You have to turn on the car with the driver 1 key or with the driver 2 key. So be mindful of that. And you have USB, AM tucked away back here. You have a Wi-Fi hotspot built into the Elite clock. You have Honda Link. You have a smart shortcuts. You have display. And you have cabin talk, too. So when you turn on cabin talk, you're able to, I don't know if you guys can hear, whoever's in the third row, they can hear you through the speakers back. They can say, hey, 
we're gonna get some McDonald's and that's that or something like that. So that's a cool feature that have. If you're familiar with Honda, you're gonna be familiar with the screen pretty much and all the features on there, especially all the other different Hondas. I'm gonna put the pilot in reverse so you guys can see what the backup camera is like on the Elite. So in reverse, you do have the bird's eye view and you have your backup so you can see what's behind you. You have a wide angle and you have a normal angle with the backup and you have cross traffic on and off. So if you turn this on and off, it'll, well, when it's on, it'll alert you if somebody's coming from this way, come from that way behind you, if a vehicle is coming. Sometimes it'll even detect people behind you, but it's more for vehicles. If you hit the little arrow right here, you can get rid of the 360 camera and just have it, just a backup camera. And if you go to here, you can adjust the brightness for the backup camera. Now, when you're back into park, you also have a dedicated camera button on, on the wiper uh, stock here. So if you push this guy, it'll turn on the same 360, but now you can see the front of the pilot. And not only can you see the front, you can change it to where you can see the, the, the wheels. So this is the front wheel. So if I turn the wheel, you can see I'm turning the wheel and you can see how close you are to the curb, which is cool. And you still keep it at 360. Now, Honda calls this, I believe, a trail watch camera, or I think the trail watch camera is unique for the trail sport and the, the pilot has a similar camera and they call some different. When we look at the brochure, I'm gonna remind myself, I don't know how I forgot, but this overview camera though is only on the trail sport and the elite. So I know the touring is below this and Technically, the trail sport and the touring are not one up from each other. I think the trail sport is an upgrade from the sport and the touring is an upgrade from the EXL, if I'm not mistaken. So there's no, the touring is technically not above trail sport, but the touring won't get the 360. Now the Elite does give you the Bose 12 speaker sound system and the touring also gets that, but the trail sport doesn't get that. So that's where it can get a little bit confusing. And when we're going to tr the trim walk, I'm gonna show you guys kind of how Honda set up the trim levels. But right below that, you do have your air vent here. And from the original pilot, you have a little storage right there. The previous pilot didn't have this. And I know the Civic and the CRV and the HRV and the Cord have that new uh, vent design where it go across the whole dash, but the pilot has its own design. And the, the vent on the left side and the right side is actually the same um, shape as the taillights, which is a nice little Easter egg that Honda put in there. You have your hazards there. Here's your climate control. And here's another reason why you get the Elite and not the Touring because the Elite gives you the ventilated uh, front seats where the Touring is only heated up front. So it's ventilated and heated on the Elite. Touring is only heated and as you go down, all the way down to the, I think the Sport is even heated too. The LX is probably the only one that's not heated. But if you want ventilated seats, you have to get this Elite and same thing on the passenger, ventilating and heated. You still have the tri-zone climate control, so driver, rear passengers, and your, your, your passenger can have a different temperature. So if you turn sync off, this person catch on fire. Back there, you can hit rear settings, adjust the temperature for 79 back there, and up front, you can be at 70. So you can have three different temperatures. But if you hit sync, you're controlling all three. So you have your modes there, you have auto, AC on and off, front defrost, fan speed, on and off for the whole system. You have a heated side mirrors and back glass on one button. You have your air circulation there, sink there, and for your rear climate control all down here. So you can actually turn off the rear climate control and just have the front on or turn it on. You can have the different settings and adjust it back there. Or you can lock it where your kiddos can't mess with the, clim the rear climate control buttons because when I get back there, you'll see there's their own climate control button back there, but you can lock it from up front. Down below, you have this little storage right here. I don't know what you put in here. You're not putting a phone in there. Maybe some wrappers, some change or something. But you do have USB-A and USB-C. Even though nowadays everyone is going to USB-C only, you have both. Now, if you're using Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, USB-A only. USB-C is just for charging. It's not for Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. And it's a faster charging than USB-A. Power outlet here. You have your wireless phone charger pad here. And it's a huge cubby down here. So you can put one smartphone here and then just one smartphone to charge here. Your transmission selector is right below that. You have a gloss black right around there. I like how this whole thing is not gloss black, just this portion here. And you hold the brakes and you hit park. Reverse is, is a different direction than neutral and drive. Just in case you don't know where you're hitting, you know which one you're pushing without looking. And this is D slash S because D is for drive. Push it again, it'll put the transmission into a sport mode where it shift more sport, hold higher RPMs, you get a more spirited drive. You have your cup holders on the right side here, and they are um, ambient lighting, 
So well, it's part of the ambient lighting. So this will light up at night when you're driving. It's actually really cool because the door handles and you have a little ambient lighting throughout the pilot cabin, which is a nice on the Elite. And down below here, you have your drive mode. So here is a little toggle. And on the Elite, you have sport, normal, econ, snow, trail, sand, and tow. So way more drive modes than you had on the previous um, pilot. And depending on what trim level you get, you don't get all of the, the different modes. You get a little bit less. And you do have your downhill cruise control here, engine auto stop button there. Here's your parking brake. On the previous pilot, it was like a foot pedal. So now you can hold the brakes pull it up and it'll engage the parking brake and you have brake hold so while you're in drive and your seatbelt is on if you're holding the brakes and you turn this feature on you can take your foot off the brakes and it will hold your brake while you're in drive so if you had a drive through you're, you had a drop off lane you had an atm you don't have to worry about holding the brake for 10 minutes or keep going from park to drive park to drive the armrest here is soft but a little firm and you do have a huge cubby in here. And the new Passport, you guys are gonna see, actually took this uh, type of storage bin, which is cool. And there's no connections in there, just storage and a little tray at the bottom. You do have a lockable glove box, and it is damped, so when you open it, it doesn't flop open. And it's not lined, but spacious, pretty nice. And this pilot does have the all-season floor mats. Coming along to the middle portion here, the Elite will give you home link, so built-in garage openers, and you have an auto-dimming rear view mirror, so this this button does to turn it on and off. You do have LED lighting throughout the whole cabin, which is nice. It looks yellow on the video, but it's LED. And you do have a sunglass holder slash who threw that Cheeto mirror, that way you don't have to turn your head behind you. And the Elite will give you the panoramic moonroof, which the Trail Sport and the Touring will also have. So you have two controls up here, one is for the moonroof and one is for the shade. So you can open the shade, and the reason why you have a moonroof button is because this whole glass doesn't open. Even though the shade opens all the way, only this portion right here will open. So I'm going to hit this guy and open it so you guys can see. This portion right here will open, but at least you still get the glass over the second um, passenger, which is cool. So let's actually close everything back because the sun is going to be cooking me. I ain't trying to fry in here. I'll just walk around. But we're going to jump out of here and actually jump into the second row. But actually, before we do that, we got to check the vanity mirrors. Can't forget. So they're not LED. They're regular bulb. But you do get a mirror with light. So that's nice. And also, I don't show this much, but you can turn it to the side and slide it too if the sun is in your, your way. So let's jump out of here and let's get into the second row. Look at the brown. Look at the brown in the sun. It just hits different. I just love how it looks. So this is how wide the rear doors open. And you can see the rear doors mimic the front door. Still soft touch right here. And it's hard up here though. The front is soft, but a little soft, a lot more softer. You do have your peasant blockers built in into the door, which is nice. And you do have additional storage on the door handle with a cup holder and more storage down below. So your kiddos can actually throw all types of stuff back here. And you have a tweeter on the door, which is nice. And the same design on the front seats follow in the second row. And one thing that the Elite does have, and the Touring also have this, is this middle seat right here is removable. So you can remove it and turn this into a seven uh, passenger and have captains on the second row. So I'm going to jump back here and kind of get back in here. And you can see you have a mat pocket behind here with a cell phone holder. And you do have a mat pocket behind the passenger seat, too, with a cell phone holder, which is cool. And you do have your climate control back here. And they are heated back here. Now, if you want heated second row, you, you only can get on the Elite. The previous pilot had heated on the, on the Touring. But now, for the new generation, the Touring don't have heated second row. So you have to get an Elite if you want heated back seats. Three different levels. And you do have an AC outlet back here with two USB-Cs down below and back here you can control your climate control you have your temperature you have auto on and off the different modes and the fans and that's where that lock button is right there that i was telling you guys about the lock button right there it's to lock the buttons back here that way your kids is not messing with it but if you do fold down this seat right here it will turn into an armrest slash uh cup holders I have to close the front door real fast the car wash going on behind me but um yeah so this is an armrest with additional storage and let me show you guys the window sticker 
So this is a 24 Honda Pilot Elite Modern Steel Metallic with a brown interior. MSRP is 53855 and that includes the destination and handling. But this one's gonna be a little bit more because this has a little bit more goodies. So it has the all season floor mats you guys saw. It has the body side molding. It has um, the hitch you saw in the back as well. So there's some goodies on this guy. Also, you have storage up here as well. So you have plenty of storage behind the uh, driver's seats so your kiddos can throw their toys and all types of stuff like that. But let's jump out of here and actually get into the third row. And Honda make it easy to get to the third row. Just push this button right here. If you pull this handle, it'll fold it flat so you can have it flat. But if I lift this back up and you push this button right here, it will actually pull the seat up forward. That way you can access the third row. And even the third row get the same black stripe in the middle like the second and third row. Look at the brown. Brown is beautiful. And actually before we get back there, I haven't show you guys how easy it is to lock a car seat in here. They have the, the latches exposed on this seat and that seat. But let's actually get back there and show you guys that you also can put a car seat in that seat back there too. And the all-season mat, look at that, it's back here too. So if, if you add this all-season mat, the rubber mat from Honda, it'll be all three roads. But sitting back here, you can see, got plenty of, not that much space, but you have some room behind your knee, behind this person. And these seats can move forward and move back. And sitting back here, kind of comfortable. You can sit three back here, but you probably put somebody really skinny in this uh, middle seat right here. On the left side, you do have an air vent. So you can face it towards yourself. You have cup holders. You have a USB-C, which is a nice touch. The MDX don't even have air vents in the third row. So that might be a reason why you get the Elite Pilot and not the MDX. And on the right side, we have another USB-C, cup holders, air vents as well. No shades back there. The shades is only on the second row. But you can see the whole cockpit from back here. And you have LED lighting back here. Seat belt for the middle seat. And if you want to get out, you have this button right here. You push, fold forward, and get you out. Look at that. You got the, te the tether for the car seat back here. But let's jump out of here and show you guys the trunk. Now, the Elite also will give you the hands-free tailgate. So, if you're... Oh, there's a sticker right here. So, because this one has the hitch, they moved the sticker down here to let you know that the sensor is not under here. It's actually under here. Um, I don't know if... Oh, there we go. <laughs> I just I about to say, I don't know if I can open it uh, when the car is running, but I believe I have it unlocked, so I can. So, if you kick underneath there, and it just sends my hand. But if you kick underneath there, it will open and close the tailgate, which is cool. And with the tailgate open, you can see it's adjustable. So you can adjust how high you want it to open. And uh, coming up back here, here's the original floor mats that came with the pilot. But because this one has the off-season mats, we don't need to put the carpet ones in there. But I'm just going to move this back right there. And part of the protection package is this folding cargo tray. So if you have the third row fully down, you can put this above the third row. That way it don't mess up your nice carpet. But what I really want to show you guys is the storage back here because this is where that middle seat will go. You take the middle seat out and store it right back in here. And they even give you like a little uh, tie down to tie it down if you wanted to. And you have these dividers right here you can actually take out as well to have plenty of storage. And this cover right here is reversible. So right now you have a carpet side and you have a hard side. And you can store the cover in there too if you don't want it out like the previous pilot. But... Pretty of space back here. The Elite also will give you a walk away close feature. So power outlet here. And if you push this, it'll stay on until I walk away. Then it'll close the tailgate. So if your hands are full of groceries or, you know, you just can't push the button on the key fob or on the door, you can, ha you can have that feature on where it'll walk away and turn on. Also, you can just push the button to the open and close it. So you can open and close it from the key fob. There's a button by the steering wheel or you can do it with the, the hands-free tailgate feature as well. And if you wanted to, there's a bunch of accessories you can add in the back of the Pilot, but you saw how I dropped that on the seat, you just pulled the handle and it drops down, a little Velcro, sticks back, that's pretty cool. I know a lot of uh, vehicles have the electric fold-down seats for third row, but Honda has it where it's mechanical. It won't break, you won't even have to worry about it. We made it to the 24 Pilot trim walk. If you watch my 23 video, then you're familiar with this guy. So this is the Elite, fully loaded, highest level you can get, like I said in the video. And I just kind of want to quickly go over 
what the elite adds on top of the touring because that's your role upgrade and also the elite pretty much has everything so you have the lx you have the sport you have the exl you have the trail sport and the touring and elite now what i was saying in the video the trail sport is an upgrade from the sport so it's not an upgrade from the exl it's an upgrade from the sport and the touring is an upgrade from the exl so keep that in mind because it can be very confusing some people think that if you get a touring you get everything the trail sport have and then and then add what a touring i have and then not the case but we're here to talk about the elite so what the elite is going to add on top of what the touring already have is the trail watch i kept calling it bird's eye view and 360 camera honda officially calls it a trail watch multi-view camera system so mvcs for short with front camera washer that's what honda um, calls it um the elite also would add a heads-up display you get a 10.2 digital instrument cluster which i love you get rain sensing windshield wipers you get the heated wiper zone which i don't know why is that standard on the elite it should be standard on lower trims but whatever there's a lot of things that i feel like should be standard on lower trims but honda set up their vehicles how they set it up you know like we don't have control over that but um so you have the heated uh, leather wrapped steering wheel. You have the perforated leather trim seats. So the seats are different in the Elite than any other trim. So like the unique piping and the styling of it is a little bit different on the Elite versus ending below it. You have the heated and ventilated front seats. You have the heated second row seats. You have a 110 volt power outlet. And this one thing, I, I keep always forgetting to mention this in the walkarounds, but the Elite will give you not only that it's a power folding side mirrors, they're auto dimming too. So you have the auto dimming rear view mirror. You also have auto dimming side mirrors as well too, which is cool. With integrated turn signals and reverse gear tilt down. Now we're gonna dive right into the Elite. Let's build one out. So I wanna show you guys the colors. MSRP has went up from 23. I'm sure you guys saw when I went up the MSRP in the video, you're familiar with the 23 pricing in this. You saw it went up. So you can get the Pilot the elite in black you can get it in lunar silver modern steel obsidian blue platinum white pearl which you pay more for radiant red metallic 2 which you pay more for and sonic gray pearl which you pay more for so the black you can get the brown or the gray so if you get brown gray headliner if you get gray gray headliner and then if you get Silver should be one color, which is only gray, gray with the gray. And if you get gray, then you can get gray with black or gray with brown. So your three interior colors is going to be gray, black, and brown. But depending on your exterior color, we'll decide your options on the ex interior color. There we go. Um, I do have a lot of customers that complain that they wish Honda offered more colors, but they don't. So, you know, kind of it is what it is. Um, you have obsidian blue, which only comes with gray. You have the platinum white pearl, which gives you three. I think this is the only color that gives you three colors. I think any other color, you cannot get all three interiors. So white, you can get gray, well, black, brown, and gray. So that's the platinum white pearl, radiant red. You have one option, which is black. And then sonic gray, I think it's black, which is one option as well, too, which is black. We're going to go back and build out our gray with brown. Love this color combination. So look online, see how it's more like, I don't know how to explain it. In person, you see how dark it is. It's not this brown. So if you don't like this like bright brown, you will probably like this interior in person because it is darker. So if we go to the MSRP, 52480 is the base price. Modern steel metallic, you don't pay extra for. You don't pay extra for the brown either with destination and handling you're looking around 1375 53855 msrp so you're just shy of 54 on a elite pilot and you do get a two-year complimentary maintenance plan so free oil changes oil filter tire rotation multi-point inspection for two years or 24,000 miles you know this pilot is an elite not really going to go over too much in accessories but there are some ppo packages you can get so you have the function package you have hpd hpd plus so i don't know if people complain that they didn't want the stickers and stuff the hpd 
gave you or like all the fender flares, fender flares and stuff. So now they have two different HBD packages. One pretty much give you the wheels, but it don't give you the fender flares and the stickers and the other one give you the fender flares and stickers. So interesting that they added that on there. You have a towing package. And remember when you buy a pilot from Honda, it can already have the package on there. So the dealership don't add it on there. It's already added on from Honda, but you do save some money because there's no labor. If you add any of these after you buy your pilot, it's going to cost more than if you bought one with it. So when you're shopping and MSRPs look a little bit different and it's an elite, it's not just a markup. It's probably it has a, it's one of these PPO packages on it. Besides the PPO packages, we got all season protection package and cargo protection package. Kind of your basic goodies and accessories. You get your body side molding, hood decal, crossbars. All of you basically can black all the emblems, add the fender flares, grill trim. Oh, you can black out the the chrome grill. Oh yeah, so you see how it's chrome right here, you can black that out. And I'm sure some of you guys are pretty familiar with all these goodies. So what I've noticed is that, oh, trailer hitch. So when you do add a trailer hitch, you do have to buy this piece right here. And this does not come standard with the, unless they change it, but as of right now, oh yeah, so. Let me see. Yeah, see, look, it requires trailer hitch panel available in black or silver. And when we first got them, I didn't even know. So people were trying to order a, um, a trailer hitch package and I have to add this. So they're saying all the sold so separate. But in my opinion, though, the Pilot is not in competition with the Highlander or the Tellurize or the Explorer or the uh, Pathfinder. Um... I, I noticed that Honda is in competition with the older pilot. Like whenever we get a newer generation of the pilot, it's not trying to compete with everyone else. It's competing with the last pilot. Like Honda kind of is in their own bubble, kind of doing their own thing. I'm going to go ahead and end the walk around here. I hope you guys appreciate it. And I'm, I am getting more 24 pilots. So I'm going to try to do all the trim levels. You guys already know the deal, especially what I did with the 23s. I appreciate you guys for watching. I will catch you in the next walk around. Mm -hmm.